Okay, so I've been struggling for like over an hour to do a fairly simple, well, simple sounding repair on my Old Town Kayak uh, autopilot. Uh, basically, I need to replace the pull cord for the motor because it was wearing out and it was slipping, causing the motor to pop up. And Old Town gives you all the parts that you need, supposedly. So, you know, new cord and uh, got a new handle and yeah and directions and step one is feeding the cord through the bushing and they make it seem like oh it should be a piece of cake because you know you just feed it through the bushing here and the problem is that it is so narrow the cord has to basically be taunt for you to feed it through the bushing but you're pushing it through and so the solution that Old Town gives you is, well, just, you know, cut it a little bit and then it should slip right through. Yeah, it's still backing, it's bunching up against the bushing. And, uh, you know, there's not really a good way to get it through. So I've been trying all sorts of different things I could think of to try to pull it through that hole. And man, this is driving me freaking nuts. So I finally took the bushing out, which you need an Allen wrench for. And um, I guess I'm going to pull it through and then try to figure out how to put the bushing back in the in the hole drilled in here and uh, get everything put back together because I can't use my kayak until the cord is uh, put back and uh, Jesus this this has been a cluster I'm really disappointed in this repair and the directions on this and the level of difficulty because I assumed it would not be this difficult based on uh, the directions and man I was so wrong uh, this is one of the really frustrating things that uh, you know you deal with periodically and you think like do they have average people trying to do this because you know I'm not like an idiot but this is making me feel like an idiot so anyway I'm gonna see if I can figure this out and I'll give you an update all right, so I just want to demonstrate real quick what Old Town is telling you you need to do. Uh, but keep in mind, I pulled the bushing out just to show how this doesn't work. So here's the bushing, right? There it is, little tiny hole. And here is the nylon uh, string that you get for replacement. And you're just supposed to kind of, let's see if I can do this here. You're supposed to kind of, you now imagine this sitting right here in the kayak like this. And you're supposed to like push it through nice and nice and easy. Let's see if we can go. Yeah. So you're supposed to just, there it is, sit in the kayak and you just push it. Yeah. You notice how it's bunching up there? Yeah, pushing it does not work. It does not work. Your directions are crap. You guys need to rethink how this is supposed to work for like the average Joe trying to just fix the kayak, you know? There you go. Trying to push it in, gets stuck. It bunches up. That's the nature of paracord, okay? You need some way, once you get it in, to be able to pull it, pull it through, and even then, look at that, it gets stuck, okay? Now it works fine, but Jesus, like, it shouldn't take an hour to do something like that and pull it through. And then, you know, I still can't, still can't reach it, so, I don't know. Old Town, just really disappointed and frustrated in this. I still don't know how I'm gonna get the bushing back in now that I, I can't screw it in. So, thanks. All right, well, I finally got the line fed through the front. Uh, this whole process, I've been working on this now for over two hours. Um, really thought this was gonna take like five to 10 minutes. This is a giant pain in the butt and I'm really frustrated by this. And uh, Old Town, you need a better way of making this simpler for people. Um, Hopefully what I show you will make sense, um, but I, I really struggled a lot, especially with these uh, directions provided and the tools provided, um, which were none. And um, anyway, this is kind of what I ended up with. I got the bushing sticking out here because I can't get it back in all the way because I had to take it out in order to feed the line through. Um, just, it would not go, wouldn't go in, so. Uh, there needs to be a better way to install that and um, yeah hopefully you guys take it hard and fix those directions anyway uh, I'm gonna wrap up now it's getting dark and uh, I've still got to reassemble the kayak since I had to take a lot of things apart to make everything work and uh, yeah just frustrated and this was a pain in the butt thanks